first Monday of the new year. And you know what, Ben was left crushed on the basketball. Let's just put it out there. But he is bouncing back from heartbreak by looking for love all over again. This time, 25 women are competing for him. How do you like that? Women will do that. Yes. Well, wait, 25 plus one. There's one you, can you guys swing around the camera over here? Ben, take, take a look to your right, Ben. Ben, out there. Take a look to your right. Look the window. Oh. You see? <laughs> <laughs> ben, will you accept this rose? It's 26 women at least. <laughs> Hoping to go after Ben this morning. There it is. They finally got it up there. Also, it's a new year. We're hoping to turn back. Will you marry me? You make me the happiest man on earth. I'm sorry. Wow. I didn't see this one coming. Ouch, talk about being on the hot seat. Well, that's the dramatic season in last season's finale of The Bachelorette when Ashley Hubert rejects Ben Flanick's proposal. But the handsome winemaker from California is back on his feet and will now be the object of everyone's affection in the new Bachelor. And Ben's here to tell us what we can look forward to. First, though, yeah. I have to ask you how you felt about getting down on one knee when Ashley knew she wasn't going to say yes. Uh, well, I didn't know she was, you know, was going to turn down my proposal, and it takes a lot. It takes a lot to get to that point, and um, obviously, it, it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. But uh, I'm glad that I'm here now in in this position. Yeah. Do you wish that maybe she had just picked you up a little bit, like they usually do, and not let you? Yeah, you know, yes and no. It's it's hard to look at that, you know, in retrospect and, and have any kind of regret, really, because uh, I'm glad I, I followed through with something for for once in a relationship. So it was a good learning experience. Yeah. So it must have hurt. You know, no one likes to be sure. dumped or rejected or whatever whatever word you want to use. Why are you doing it all over again? You know, it, it works for me. This this forum, oddly enough, kind of works for me, and um, I like the way that you you're able to kind of exercise your feelings and and um, encourage to to get there uh, quicker than you normally would. And so um, that appealed to me, and I, and I thought long and hard about it, but mm -hmm. ultimately it was the right decision. Not to mention that you have 25 women all clamoring for you. Yeah, that helps but, a little bit yeah. too. Yeah, I <laughs> right. wouldn't like that, right? right? Right. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, so what are you looking for in a woman? Uh, you know, confidence, intelligence, someone who's who's worldly and, and experienced and has, um, you know, experienced life. Uh, you know, at such a young age, I've gone through through so much. You know, with my my father's passing, and I've been able to travel, and I've I've had a lot of um, life's lessons. So that's what I kind of look for in a, in a counterpoint. All right, we're really lucky. We have an exclusive clip okay. from tonight's show. This is you and Courtney, who is a model. Uh -huh. Look at you. So we said all these ladies want you I now. Know, this know, is really cool. So let's take a look at this clip from okay. tonight. Something that you said in the last season that really actually struck a chord with me when I was like, oh, I really like him was when you are like, I'm available. Yeah. I was impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that's so good. that's actually why I'm here. A year ago, I wouldn't have been available. It just wouldn't have been. Like, I wouldn't be here. I'm at the point in my life where I'm a model, and mm -hmm. and I've traveled the world, and I've, I work really hard. Yeah. I travel, like, every week. Like, I'm in New York for a day, and, like, I'm just at a place where I've been single for a while, and mm -hmm. what you see is what you get with me. I'm just nice, normal, cool. honestly. Sounds good. Being available always helps, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Um, one of the things that concerned me, and, and I mean this in the nicest way when I heard that you were going to be the new Bachelor, was that you were almost too normal and too nice last season. Really? And I thought, is this going to be spicy at all? Is, is there going to be some... Oh, yeah. I mean, I think any time you combine, you know, 25 women vying for, for one man's heart, uh, there's going to be drama. There's going to be spice. And as laid back and mellow as I am... Um, and it was difficult to navigate. You know, it's it's a completely different experience. It's something that you're not used to doing, and so uh, I can guarantee plenty of excitement. And and the promos, I've seen a lot of tears. I also saw an, an old, very much older lady on yeah. crutches. On crutches. Is, is on she crutches. the one? Yes. Well, is she the one? But she was in her eighties. I don't know about that. Cheryl, Cheryl's sweetheart. <laughs> uh, she's there for a particular reason. You know, I, I want I don't want to give too much away, but she really she's there for uh, a good reason, a okay. heartfelt reason. And. Okay, so you can't tell us anything more about that? Not All really. Right. I mean, tonight's the night, so... So, final question. I know you can never say if you're engaged, right. but... 
did you are you happy? Did you meet somebody that could be the one? Um, I'm happy in in, in, my, in the fact that I, I did this experience and I, and I went through this journey again. Um, you know, an, another good cathartic experience for me. I learned a lot about myself and uh, pushed myself in ways that I, I never did before. You didn't answer the question. I ben. know. I <laughs> <laughs> well, we just will have to watch. Yeah. I know I'll be watching. Thank yeah. you so much, Ben Flanick, for being here today. The Bachelor premieres tonight at eight, seven central on ABC. And